Big game. 12. Bears. Who'd the Bears beat? Tech. I don't think surprise, say. surprise, right? Beat. Well, got um, handed. Well, I think it is a surprise because. Uh, it's probably. Where's Bailey right now? Uh, they should. They're five right now. They'll probably move up. Probably top two, dude. They're not that good. They're good. They're not. I don't see them making a final four run. That's okay. I mean, they won. I don't know how. All right, so let's see your bold predictions. Where are they going to rank? What is all this talking off camera? You know, I know. Like coming all of a sudden, we get all these people thinking they're the talent. Where are they going to be ranked in, in March Madness? Yeah. What seed are they going to get? Anyway, one seed in the West. <laughs> That's what they'll end up being. That's what they're saying. Drop the one, one seed in the West. I mean, but anyway, it was. I mean, it was embarrassing. There was a crowd, nobody there. I was very disappointed. Playing the Yukon girls. Hey, Godfather. <laughs> I'm getting ready to throw down right now. Do you realize you I'm said you were going to throw down the Godfather? I did. I know. I don't want to find four body parts in four different states, okay? So be nice. Oh, by the way, Godfather, I was supposed to tell you that Ryan is the greatest student ever and is awesome and everybody loves him. Okay. See him sucking back up. He was scared. He was about to have a horse head in his bed. That's true, though. Hello, I Rams mean, fans. Need to give that message. To we'll you. start since we already started. We didn't start. <laughs> this is Kevin Brooks. Okay. The skip. John Anderson. Well, today has already been a much more fun day than yesterday because the sun is shining. Yes, it is. It's a lot warmer. I still have the same number of layers. When I went out to to work out this morning, it was like 42 degrees. There's ice on my windshield. Well, I took Cannon to early morning basketball. It's 28. Yes, it was. 28 degrees this morning at six. It was not a pleasurable experience. Yeah. Early morning is awful. No kidding. I, yeah, my again, wife goes you know, to bed I'm at like midnight and gets up at like three in the morning to get yeah guy up and ready. Come on now. I'm firmly against that. That's against everything I believe in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that's about of, that. That's one of my tenets. <laughs> Is that well, a, is it called a tenant? I don't know. I, just, I, I wouldn't know tenant uh, to be used that way. Not a big fan. Way, Remember like when Chad and I, like we were talking about early morning lifting and I was like, that's one of our core principles. Mm -hmm. We don't do that because yeah. we don't play at six. Yeah. Just, just don't think you get in, in here. Yeah. We got in a little. Got in a little scuffle. We didn't get in a scuffle because I'd be dead. He's a lot no, bigger than me. No, we had to call in the Godfather. We did, Godfather. He put Called in, in a few stuff. favors and yeah. nobody's talked to us since. That's true. Anyway. So. Now, what what is the effect of having having dogs out here? Uh, well, I think it I I think it brings uh, the group together. I do too. You know, the one guy though, and they mentioned it yesterday that you've never seen pet the dog is Clay Wagner, which by the way. He's, of course, at lab. Uh, it'd be nice never, to have him at practice great, one day a week. It'd be great if we had, like, yeah, our players at practice. That would be awesome. But uh, anyway, that uh, it doesn't seem to happen. Do you think that uh, Pops Wrangle is going to end up taking home one of the dogs because it likes him more than it likes Coach Lawler? But I think he's been feeding them dog bones, and so they – they I think Pops is smart. I think he has like a pork chop in his pocket. I know he does, but see, now I, I see Lady sitting up there and she won't leave. And I, I assume he's probably out or he's rationing, you know. But uh, anyway. Hey, dude, I was reading this article today about like uh, college baseball teams cheating, loading their bats. All right, I've heard of people rolling their bats. I've heard of a team we played doing it actually one of our players that played with one of their players said oh yeah they do it and i was like well that's that's against the rules yeah you'd think you'd have more scruples than to do that but, Scru you'd have more scruples but you also think hey man again wear, we'll just let it go you think you'd wear socks with shoes too yeah. so i don't know do you just use any word in any place and just jam them in there is that scruples that's a word that's a game yeah, but you got to use it in the proper context. I did. Uh, Scruples. Context. Do you have the moral fortitude? <laughs> there. That to, would be better. To decide between right and wrong. There, there's a line. You know, although, I don't know, maybe. Who's to say what that line is? I don't know. Uh-oh, dog's back. Anyway, but yeah, I was reading about that. And then somebody was saying, "There's, hey, yeah, we can go down to Bell Street. 
Ten bucks a bat. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I heard you can get your bats rolled at the softball field yeah. anytime you want for ten bucks. Ten bucks a bat. They I don't got, even like know a, what that means. What do they do? I don't do know, they, but apparently like, it rub hits two the sticks ball. together. That's one thing. If if you were to sell bats, it'd be the easiest job to sell them to the softball players. Yeah. Because all the softball players have money. They're all okay. Not kids. They're all employed. They're gainfully employed, employed. Gainfully employed. And they want the latest, greatest things to beat their buddies and also to show their buddies. Yes. So there's nothing you see more at a ba at a softball field than big trucks and best bats. What, what else would you see there? Uh, generally portly men. Portly men? <laughs> From what I've seen. in my That's my experience. Portly. I love the word. You're going to get that in your four word, man. Okay. Anyway. Hey, dude. 100 beanies opening day. We got to say that every day now. 100 beanies. First 100 day, people, 100, right? 100 students. First 100 students. 100 students. Well, beanies. I'm, I know 40 of them will be sitting in a couch with beanies on. Yeah, yes. So anyway, and then I've looked at the weather forecast. Looks good right Se now. We're 76. seven days away. And dropped to 60s, but still beautiful. Beautiful okay. day. Rain on Saturday. That's okay. We'll play. We can handle that. We can handle rain. Well, are you starting to get excited? Not yet. I am. Are you? I am. Good for you. This is our last practice before our first weekend prior to the games. Okay, yeah, if you want to look at it that way. I'm trying to look at it any way I can because I, I mean, I'm, I'm ready. I want the season to start. Well, I do too, but I'm not excited yet. I really probably won't get excited till like Friday morning. Okay. What are you going to do Friday morning? Uh, probably have, uh, you know, how we sort of sit and drink Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew and discuss the week's current events. I believe that's a great idea. You know, we have people come in for social hour. Yeah, like, by the way, if whoever come wants in. to come, come in. Come on in at the clubhouse. About 10.30 10, at the clubhouse. BYO Mountain Dew. Or Dr. Pepper. Or strawberry water, which is fantastic. Thanks, Laura. See, I call, I call my wife out. I know, but yeah, I don't think I, that does not sound good. You know, my kids want to start a water store. I was like, I was, I was just joking with them. I was like, hey, there's, they're opening up a new water store in San Angelo, but not like the little windmill one, but like, so you can go get the water from Austin, water from Dallas, water from New York City, just regular tap water. And they're like, that, oh, we gotta go, dad. That's gonna be the greatest thing ever. I'm like, oh my gosh, that. You know what, you know I, what, I don't you know, know, do you know what Evian spells ring? backwards? No. <laughs> Naive. The, you didn't know that? I didn't know that. Country in Canada. Is yeah. it really? Yeah, it's pretty funny, isn't that it? That is funny. Yeah. That's good. All right. All right, let's go, let's go into call outs. Okay, go. I'm going to call out Bill Nicolai. Oh, I thought he was the last one. No, he's in the last week, and we're one week out. Okay, okay. Bill Nicolak, you better be here. Uh, I'm going to go with... Oh, gosh. I don't know who I'm going to go with. Oh, yeah, Taylor Seitz, Taylor Boudreaux, Lexi. Uh, those three. They told me to make sure I hadn't gotten them yet, so calling them out. Is Lexi's last name Zach? Uh, you know, that's why I didn't use her last name. I really don't know her last name. I, I always call her Lexi Zach. Yeah. So, but I don't think officially that's what it is. Soon to be, right? I don't know. I think from what I've been told, there's an eight-year courtship period. And I think they're only at year six and a half. Yeah, you, you bring that up around our group of friends, the, the old se the seven-year. Seven years seems to be the appropriate amount of time. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to call out. Lloyd and Sherry Norris. You man, you're going the big people today. A week before. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna go with uh, Fred Key. Ha <laughs> ha! You better so, be here, Key. And uh, then, and then, last thing too, I really would. This is a serious note before we do four words. Is uh, wish Doc Edwards the best. I know he's struggling a little bit right now, health-wise. So, our prayers are with you, Doc, and hope everything goes good. Amen to that. Well, I'm going to give you four words, Brooksy. Why don't you smash those four words into a sentence? I'm ready. Portly is your first word. Okay. Knee is your second word. Okay. Svelte is your... Svelte? Yeah, it's your third word. Okay. And ranger. Can I get a definition for svelte? 
It's actually kind of a synonym to portly. Okay. Are you like svelte would be more like okay, you're in so, shape. Okay, so we got knee, portly, svelte, and the last word was? Ranger. Ranger. Uh, the Texas Ranger hurt his knee. Due to his lack of mobility, he became a portly and svelte man. Well, portly and svelte are kind of... You said they were sort of the same thing. You said synonyms. They, they, they were, but I, they, so then, I, I, then I, I recanted and said more like stout. More like... That's not what shape. you said. So, you get an F. I get an F. I get an F. I'll take my F, but Coach Brooks gets an F-. minus. <laughs> Rams fans, one week from today. Go get it done, Jacob.